Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. We're here today together all by ourselves. And this is one of our shorty episodes. So I'm going to keep this one quick because these are meant to be tips for you to take off into your life, into the week and for on and on and ever and ever. But they're meant to be short little snippets, kind of these aha moments that I come across and I want to share them with you. That's kind of what we do these episodes for on Mondays. So um, what I want to dive into, first of all, I want to let you know about the waitlist that we have going on. We are launching something big, something new, something very, very exciting in June. And if you would like to be the first to hear about it, this is something that our audience has been asking for from us for a long time. And we're finally delivering on that, <laughs> on those asks. So if you'd like to be the first to know about it and and qualify for special pricing and other bonuses that we have going on for when we launch this sucker in June, please join our waitlist at nicoleano.me forward slash waitlist, or you can go to nicoleano.me forward uh, slash podcast links. And you get all the links to all the things that we're doing. The waitlist is there, our free resources, our free guides like the deconditioning guide, the um, the, pro- the float activity guide, which is our human design productivity guide and all the other things that we have going on, you can find on that page. So go on over there, sign up for the wait list, be the first to know and then join us in the new thing. You'll we'll love it. Um, anyway, let's dive into the episode, shall we? I want to talk about something that I have noticed come up with people, um, particularly with people who have done a lot of personal development work. And these are people who sit down for readings with me or who come into my world through my my larger coaching program, The Unshakable Entrepreneur, or just in general when I'm working with somebody, even private clients do this. Although when you're paying the higher freight of private coaching, a lot of times people do enter into it knowing um, to, to have that beginner's mind, to be coachable. We hear that term a lot, be coachable. And coachable usually c- can mean sometimes from certain coaches, believe everything I'm telling you, <laughs> forget everything that you know, and I want you to just come to this with, you know, as an open vessel for me to pour into. Now, I, I don't look at it the same way when I'm talking about human design. Well, what I'm really talking about here is when I read somebody's chart or I point something out in someone's chart, there can be this initial reaction to get defensive or 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 shrink. And I really want to talk about the defensive part first. Um, the defensive part is what I want to focus on in this episode because everything in the chart, what we're talking about, it's it's a, there's there's the potential for shadow, there's the potential for a gift. And when I bring up the potential for shadow, so I might be talking about, gate 29 and i would say that the gift is commitment the shadow is half-heartedness and someone most people a lot of people have this knee-jerk reaction and i'll I'll talk about where i think that comes from but a lot of people have this knee-jerk reaction when i talk about the shadow to just be like oh i don't do that oh i don't do that yeah i i feel like i i commit and what we're really doing is it's not it, it's not a condemnation and it's it's not personal i really just want people and so if you're listening to this and you're digging into your design what i really hope that you take away from this is is look at everything in your chart up objectively look at it with curiosity not criticism you know my mantra everything is with curiosity not criticism and don't get defensive being like i'm not that i don't do that i guarantee you you do if it's in your chart you touch the shadow it's it's inevitable and it's okay as long as we don't stay there and human design is this beautiful tool that shows you where your potentials for shadow might be greatest so my my advice to you and what i hope that you take away from this episode is to just open yourself up to seeing it because if you're defensive and you are denying that a shadow exists you have absolutely no hope of transcending it 
and that's why you will be stuck. And that's really, that's the game, right? You come, so if you're paying for a reading or you're paying to be in a coaching relationship with me or somebody else about anything, and they point out something that, that they see and you get defensive about it, you're triggered by it, actually. And if there's a trigger, then there's a wound. If there is a wound, then something needs to be healed. So if you find yourself having that that automatic reaction of, I don't do that, I don't have that shadow, that's not me, then I challenge you to look at that one the closest. What's the one that you resist the most? What is the one that you are just like, no, that's not me? And it, it gives it, there's a charge there when someone says it. You're half-hearted. No, I'm not. If that's how you react, if you have your back up about something, then something is there. That is a gate. That is an area. That is something that you should be working on. And, and to look at it with a really open heart. Not browbeating yourself, not being upset with yourself for being these things, but really looking at it and asking yourself, why do I have such a strong reaction to it? Why do I feel so defensive? What makes me feel like this is some sort of condemnation of me and my character? Why do I feel so defensive or small? What does it make me feel? Those are questions that are meaningful to ask and will hold a lot for you if you have that type of reaction and you are feeling like you're denying it and you are defensive about it. Okay? And keep this one super duper short for you guys today. I'm going to let you off the hook. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that this helps you look at your shadow, look at everything in your chart with just more of an open heart and with more optimism that if you can see something that is in a low expression, you have the ability to change it. That's the beauty of the system. So stop looking at it like something that you've done wrong and just look at it as something like, wow, what a gift for me to know about this. What a gift for me to understand this. What a gift for me to be able to see it so I can change it. And so I can release my grip on it because if I deny it, I'm actually, the more I deny it, or the more ashamed I am of it, then the lower the frequency that is and the more trouble that energy is actually causing. Okay? So I hope you love this episode. If you did, please share this on Instagram. Share this with your friends. Tell, tell everybody about the show. We want to get the word out about the show. Please subscribe to the show wherever you are listening to this podcast and leave us a review. Let us know what you think about it. And if you, if you love it and you share it on Instagram, please tag me. I'm at Nicole Leno Official. I will shout you out on my page. I would love to hear what you love about the episode. If you would love to hear something on the show that I have not covered or you want me to go deeper into, message me over on Instagram and I would love to hear from you and hear your thoughts on what we could do here to make the show even better and more impactful for you. Well, I love you all. I am so appreciative. Have a wonderful rest of your day and go out there and be unshakable, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.